camera's in the back. Oh, so we've got a little bit of a camera. This is not your fault. It's a little bit of a camera. Welcome to Chichen Itza. It's not even 8 a.m. Doors open at 8. Tourist buses arrive from Cancun at 10. Hmm. Let's do this. Come early. Well, how you feeling? Uh, I can't <laughs> really describe it. Like it's, it's awe, like it's, in awe. Is that the word? I, it's surreal to me. I don't know that I ever thought I would be standing at the foot of this. No. You've seen it so many places and then like, you're actually... You're like, wow, it does here. exist. It's not fake. I'm gonna go check out some other ones. Some it's not more fake. Of the... <laughs> it does exist! They didn't make it up. <laughs> we saw it for reals. So we're now inside of a public gathering space. It's got a feel of like an old stadium, a uh, place where people would get together for whatever was happening. There's an old game. <laughs> There's an old game. It's not new. You have to get a ball. It's kind of like a basketball. You have to get a ball through. Let's go over there and have a look. I believe you have to get some sort of ball through that circle and you're not allowed to use your hands or feet. <laughs> Imagine that. I'm not sure if you can hear the clapping in the background. Uh, the idea is folks are standing at the bottom of the stairs. The echo from the clap quacks like a duck.
one there, one there. So opposing teams. Feels like a, feels like a gladiator arena. It's a bit surreal to be honest with you. While I've got you, something that I didn't see advertised was the whole no drone thing. Uh, made me put it in a locker, which of course you have to pay for. So I'm filming on a phone. That's the only equipment you're allowed to use. You're not allowed to use microphones. It makes sense. They don't want folks selling their content or using content. They want folks coming here, spending the money, tourist economy. So this is what you're gonna get. We're gonna do our best to uh, record on Le Telephone. La Telefono. El Telefone. We're staying on one end of the length of the arena because on this side, this is where the poor, less fortunate folks got to enjoy the experience. And way down at the other end, uh, sheltered from the elements of weather, the more wealthy folks got to enjoy the higher game social of hierarchy. Social hierarchy <laughs> is what the sign says. So money defined class and status, obviously crazy. So the conclusion of this game often ended with the sacrifice. The Mayan people believed that we're just on this planet for a short time, and this was a quick ticket to the afterlife. Wall of Skulls. What do you think? So each of these structures is a temple within a temple. If you go inside, it's kind of like they're wearing clothes or skin, if you will. It's a temple inside of a temple. Google it. I think that's uh, the third one's off. Yeah. Hair. You think? Uh, they better than me. No, no. I'm sure our house like... at home is more square than this. <laughs> we don't have a drywall or a shower. <laughs> We're in the room of a thousand columns, individually made. It goes on and on and. On. The signs say it provided a safe haven for folks, anything. I mean, if there's multiple structures. A sauna, vapor bathroom. Wicked. What do you think? Wow. Right? I see why they don't want anybody going in there now.
There's a cave inside. It's built over top of a cave. And there's, so there was a big, was, I don't know if there is now. I can't go up there and tell you. Uh, 10 meters. Down? They, yeah. And there's a word they keep using, ossuary, O-S-S-U-A-R-Y. Don't know what it means. I will by the time you watch this video. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but they they found remains down at the bottom of the cave. While digging. And, yeah. Like, they built it over. And what it said is that the other castle, see this has is the same with Kuku Clan. I can't say that. Mm -hmm. And they said this is similar to the size of the first pyramid under El Castillo. What time to be alive. Scaffolding. 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 So we found the observatory. It's got a spiral staircase that goes all the way to the top, and it was intentionally positioned to face sunset in order to track astrology. So they were like marking sunsets inside. Inside that building. Yeah. In order to make the calendar Wait. to make the So they could temple. tell if sunset was moving up or down, right? So if the I, days I, were getting I'm longer and shorter. I'm assuming they mapped out the calendar in there. In there before they actually started putting bricks Well, it's been two hours, uh, and as you can see, wall to wall people, we've seen it all, so we're gonna get out of here, but we're not done yet give you a tour of the hotel that you can stay. I think there's two right here with it. You can't walk because it's about three and a half, four kilometers away. You have to take, have to take cab, 100 peso. You can walk, but do you really want to walk on the side of the road with it's the buses? It's a highway with tourism buses coming like, into- How many pesos? 100. Yeah. Anyway, watch this. Back to hotel tour now. Welcome back to archeological well, friends, we are back at the hotel. In fact, there are two hotels adjacent to the official Chichen Itza site. And, you know, because of proximity, they're a little bit more pricey than one would be used to or accustomed to if you're a backpacker traveler. Worth every penny, in my opinion. We're a stone throw to the site. It's a 100 peso taxi ride. But this hotel has a beautiful courtyard in the center a pool, all you can eat all day long if you choose to purchase the buffet option. Looks like Brian found a date for this evening. The pool, the pool. So those two chairs, that's our room right there. Food, food, pool. 
sunshine. Well, I'm going to leave you here. Time to jump in that. So, peace and love from Chichen Itza, Mexico. Give somebody close to you a hug. Tell them they matter. Don't forget you matter. If you like this kind of content, you know the drill. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe, all the things you're supposed to do on the YouTube channel. Tweet this at your grandma or exit at your grandma or whatever the heck Elon's doing over in that space these days. We will catch you on the next one. Peace.